Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button, also the notification bell. Thank you so much for those of you who hit the like button, send the beautiful messages. We are in the thick of the full moon energy. You are all feeling it. We are trying to get as many messages out as possible to help you transform, transcend through these energies, energies and these times. Um, there are a lot of masculines awakening and going through a very deep emotional time. I am seeing it through my own business coming in. They are really being taken into their heart and soul and reevaluation. Now, remember that can be the masculine energy within you, and maybe. <clears throat> it needs balancing or rebalancing but what's happening here is a massive awakening realization reactivation so please don't fight those energies so what is the message for today and remember please reverse the roles so straight out we have the eight of cups now if you can see that energy this person is looking into the sky the eight of cups is a pulling um, are going very inward to getting ready getting pulled onto a journey so it is about revelation like deep spiritual revelation and pull yes yeah, somebody is right up in their head here um, they there this is this is a heavy card it is depression it is anxiety it is thinking something over and over and over being stuck in your head or unable to move through or forward something now remember you could be dealing with someone like that or vice versa all right you have to place the energies where it fits um spirit has is saying to me ten of swords for some of you, I, I always get two groups, two messages. For, for one message is for a group, um, and I feel this is, the, this is the main message, but we'll do the two messages. One message here is somebody has been throwing everything at you and does not understand how you keep coming out or coming through the fire. They are absolutely up in their head about what to do. Um, and they have now recognized who you are. Okay, so who you are and they just cannot. It's like everything they've done to you and this person has done things to you. They thought they were smarter than you. They thought they knew you. They thought they knew what they were handling and dealing with. And they have just realized, and I think they got some spiritual downloads here, that that is not the case. How do you keep getting through these Ten of Swords? Like It's like we did everything we could. I threw everything I could at you and you keep, and I feel this is spiritually. It could be spiritual energy attacks, people coming at you. And maybe you've just experienced that in life in general or it's a particular person. These people thought they knew who you were and they don't. And spirit kept that hidden and they didn't realize that you you have you have walked through this ten of swords more times on this in this lifetime than they can ever pos possibly fathom. And now your ancestors are ready ready to play ball with them. Enough is enough. And you know your ancestors have sat back and now they're going to hear from your ancestors and your spirit guides and I feel they already are in the way that this person is having such profound deep revelation yep they've been made to sit in it they are stuck in it now whatever has been done here to you vice versa it's like oh my god deceit deception trickery sabotage getting away with things this is someone you know fake false whatever that you've been dealing with or maybe you pulled the wool over their eyes meaning 
they didn't realize who and what they were dealing with. And I'm talking energetically, I'm talking spiritually because you're the temperance card. You are protected by the, you're, you're an earth angel. That doesn't make you any better than anybody else. It means that you have copped this Ten of Swords, betrayal, tragedies, um, whatever it is, you know, in your life, rejections, abandonments, whatever your life lessons were. You have learned that so many cycles I'm hearing. Ten of Swords is one cycle. I'm hearing you have done this over and over and over. This is a continued path. And you, on the other hand, are up in your head going, why does this keep happening to me? It keeps happening to you because you're an earth angel, okay? You're protected by the divine. And when we have earth angels here, spirit, they do experience a lot of deceit and deception. And now this person's sitting in this and really deeply thinking and contemplating. And we've got that twice. We've got them really deeply contemplating and thinking thinking about it because I've, I've just heard, oh boy, what have I done? And you, you were humbled, you stayed humbled, you stayed hermit, you just went about your, your purpose, your path, you are obedient to spirit, you don't retaliate, you don't respond, you to the attacks and and what has been a journey for you as well um with people and oh boy yep now we're getting a and now they're getting the awakening now they're seeing something from a different perspective a different angle like outside the box yeah i saw jack in the box surprise didn't know who i was did you and maybe you didn't know who you were, you know. Sometimes that's a part of, of um, um, how spirit protects you. You know, you don't portray that, you, that you're very humbled, so you don't portray who you are. And spirit tests these people. Oh, yeah, deep contemplation how they come forward because they did a lot to you in the dark. And they did. Mm -hmm. told you they want to reach out now they want to come forward they want to offer an apology offer an apology they've realized star card wish fulfillment you are the star meaning you are a very um angelic like pure energy a higher divine um energy you can't find one of you you are different they didn't see any of this they treated you like any other person that they could discard yeah they want to talk about this betrayal they want, to, they want to speak up and defend themselves, but they don't want to come in conflict. So they wanted to come at you, throw everything at you, go against you, possibly with others for some of you. And now they want to come forward and talk about these betrayals, but now they want you to be understanding. I don't think so. And that wasn't from me. That was from your ancestors. Spirit just said this is a very important message. On the other hand, it's it's up to you how you handle or deal with people. We do not tell you what to do as an end result. We just give you guidance from spirit. It is up to you. It is a journey. Sometimes we have higher divine contracts, paths. Sometimes things have to be karmically solved, resolved. It's up to you. But this person um, is running scared. Your ancestors are coming in like a wrecking ball. Uh, possibly because of what they threw at you um, and now they're seeing outside this box that they were in um, and they want a new opportunity. But if you see here, one of the actions that this person needs to take is to take action, to be brave, to step up because we've gone here from the page of wands to the king of wands. So they're going to come in cautiously um, but they also know they have to be a grown-up, an adult, and confront things and, and 
The King of Wands does confront issues. We have the Tower card on the um, Temperance card. Uh, for some of you, it's not the person. Uh, it's everybody involved, however, they were involved in some way. Um, you may be... A, no. Um, the Tower card and the Temperance card is both major arcana. That is the universe changing a foundation, changing a foundation of what people thought of you, who they thought you were, and whatever they built up around them, the, temper the temperance is coming in to balance it up. Yeah, there's a message. Deceit, deception, trickery, pulling the wool over your eyes. I may feel a little bit, oh, they better not come in like a victim. They know what they did. They turned against you. They tried to defeat you. They just thought they knew who they were. Yeah, they, they, there was a lot of betrayal to a divine union, to a higher divine union. They've realized that about you. Now, divine unions can be partners, but they can be partnerships. Work, career, um, I don't know. It can be a higher path, a higher destiny, a higher calling. Um, but to here, it's feeling like some form of relationship, whoever that is for you, wherever it fits. Now, what we've got here is... Yeah, they listen to gossip, lies, slander, um, uh, people who didn't didn't know you, didn't have all the evidence, made it up. The Page of Swords makes it up, talks how they got to talk, tells you what they got to do. Lies, cheats, steals, manipulates. You know, this is gossip. This is high school gossip. This person believed it over their divine counterpart. That's the problem. And now they're realizing and planning, how do I come in and show them I'm stable, I'm serious, I'm ready to put in the work? How do I show you? See, they're sitting and planning this. They just don't know how to come at this. And here's your ancestors here. And all I can say is when we're in this situation and they know you're guarded, they know you're ready. You are ready for the next trick. Yeah. They're scared. You're going to be put out in the cold. They could be put out in the cold by your ancestors, as I said, or overwhelm is sort of holding them up to come towards you. So they are very scared here. They are very nervous. And that is because they have actually realized who you are or who and what I mean who you are, yes to them, but also in spirit, in, in life, in who you are, what you've done, what you've achieved, okay, what you've been through. So it's, it's like, there was a real arrogance here. There was a judgment. There was an absolute... It's like when you put everybody in the one box or categorize everyone or listen to, I mean, whoever they listen to were pages. All right. Yeah, watching. They're watching you. They're watching you. How wise you are. They're spying on you. North Node, they're seeing you move into your North Node, get blessings by the universe. It's a glow up. It's a blessing. It's a whatever. They're like, if I thought this about this person, how come they're getting blessing after blessing after glow up after glow up? You know, where is this? And, and where is this windfall abundance? You're getting, they're watching you move forward, grow, heal, move into your north node, um, better than ever I heard, and you've got windfall, abundance, gifts, celebration, promotions, opportunities, and successful adventures. And they, and, and the universe decides, see growth, the universe decides who's done their work, who did their growth, who acted out of integrity, who was out of integrity. Okay, and then the blessings come. And in that, you know, spying communication, they're getting people, they're trying, they're, ha, watching you is how they got mental clarity because what you do and say or how, what, what you're putting out there 
is in alignment, is true. You're doing what you do. You walk your talk. You say your truth. You're authentic. And that's what they've realized. They were surrounded by a heap of non-authentic people who were just in an unexpected storm around the North Node and you moving into the North Node. Karma, debts, rewards and contracts. Saturn and abundance, you know. It's <laughs> toxicity. One grew and one was in toxicity, bound to the devil, it says. Actions, patterns, energy, vampire, trauma, bond, and stuck. So, you know, if this person did want to do this and stay where they're at, you know, they made decisions here um, to then turn against you, attack you. And they let, for some of you, their divine counterpart do that, I just heard. They did. This masculine energy. Hmm. Declared war. For an external party. Now they're having thoughts of soul ties. Wish fulfillment, loss and rejection through their decisions. There's distance between you. They didn't see your worth. Now you're in full self-worth. They were cold and blocked out their twin. Their true twin. They did. And, and this twin has, alchem has ancestors that alchemizes everything that comes at this person because they did not deserve that, what they got. And that's your answer. For whoever needs to hear it, you or your person or cross watcher or whoever's trying to learn, that's how it works. A lot of people think they come from a pure place and a pure intention and an honesty and they, 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 that's just their definition of it. You know, when you're getting spirit's definition of it, okay, that's when your, your ancestors have alchemized Everything they've sent at you, temperance card, balance, healing, moderation, transmutation, and patience. You were patient. Epiphany, shift. Yeah. They went into doubts, control, Pluto, which is the dark shadow, um, and fears. All because of a message. Or lack of. They're in their south node, their past, the moon. What do we have here? The moon. They went to a false person, union. That's the truth. Temptation. They needed shadow work. Now they've fallen into the fire. So I think um, they're having dreams and earth here manifesting, trying to manifest a union with you to nurture you. Uh, come into their higher self and balance karma and justice, but they're feeling a stalemate and a closed off. Family was involved. They were one-sided, one-eyed. They couldn't see two sides of a story here through belief systems. And they're in regret. Let's stop it there. Um... But he and they got nostalgia and they, they want to, you know, they basically want to come in. But the, this is not what it's about. Coming in, fixing it, talking, reaching out. The, the moral of this story is this. You never know who you're dealing with and you may never know what they've been through or their family history, ancestry, ancestors, spirit guides, ranking, hard work, whatever it is. So as my grandfather used to say, you treat everybody with kid gloves and you treat everyone with kindness. You don't discard people, you don't burn bridges, you don't, you know, it's it's how you how you handle people and how you are humble within what you do and that puts us into the truth of or spirit's truth what spirit sees energetically 
You never know who you're dealing and what you're dealing with. And most of the time, it'll be that one person that you really overlooked, that you really didn't know that they deserve, didn't deserve what they got. And then the spirit guides will come in and protect them. And that's um, all governed by the spirit world, not in your mind. Okay? Not what you believe, not what your parents believe, not what your ex believes, not what your friends believe, what spirit believes to be true. And the outcome is who is getting blessed, prosperous, glow up, ascension, moving forward into their north node are the people who did their work. The people who did not, you know, now they want to cry and now they want to come back in and now they want to um, ask for your forgiveness. And they want to, you to basically be really kind and loving to them when they were not to you. And I suggest you do be kind and loving to them because they, they're getting their lesson anyway. And the lesson, other moral to this story is, you know, we don't know somebody's ancestors. So we need to be very mindful, particularly in these times of receiving karma, closing out karma. You know, the ancestors and the spirit guides know perfect timing. And for you to learn, it's only for you to learn. It's not a punishment, it's for you to learn. So stay humble, stay kind, stay true to your own true essence of who you are particularly in this time when things are coming at us hard and fast and for many of you you've had people coming at you for you know a year or two or a couple of years like i'm talking big spiritual attack big people trying to you know take you down on whatever level it's been hard it's been tough whether it's Friends, groups, exes, work colleagues, this, that, you know, it, it has been a bit of an epidemic for everybody. And just know this, if you stay obedient to spirit within the integrity of spirit, you will be, um, this is how we get protection. Um, we create a kinder world. We treat others how we wish to be treated. We all learn lessons every day. We, you know, learn about your strengths and weaknesses. I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses and I work on them every day, every day to make me a better person for me, to bring a bit of better energy out to the world. And if we were all coming from that, the alignment that would come in, rather than trying to take, steal, deceive, decept, be in competition, get jealous, get envious, you know, that is not energy of the light. Um, and it's certainly not how you learn spiritual growth and ascension. Okay, it is about being the best you for you and, and working on yourself daily and, and so that energy that you give out to people then to the world because you're a part of the collective energy. So big lessons here as we close out these major cycles, all right, um, it's all learning, it's all growth. We've all been there, we've all done it, we've all had experiences negative positive but someone here is really getting hit and they did have they they kind of handled it the wrong way and now the wrecking ball's coming in um so oh in that why i'm saying that is spirit saying you know even when we help people we have to discern 
are we are we getting them out of their karma because karma is not a punishment it's a level of growth that that person there's a fine line between where you enable someone to grow or you enable someone to stay where they are you know saving someone and and all the time doesn't put them through those deep deep changes that they need all right guys i'm gonna wrap it up take care bye